away. Let's jump here. Basically, that is the proof that you... Hi, for, um... I almost said hello, Fumble. Hello, Aura. You don't see the game? Wow, okay. So, for whatever reason... Huh. There we go. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a kerfuffle. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, it's only half an hour in. But mind you, though, the only thing that I've managed to do is... Just to catch you guys up to speed. I finally made it here to Novak. And inside that dinosaur, there's a shop in its bum. And then there's stairs that lead out to a overlook in his head. And there are two snipers that are up there that swap uh, swap shifts. One during the day, one during, during the night. The lady that ran this in the, this um, hotel here sold the wife of one of the snipers up here to the legion so i just helped the sniper kill the woman that sold his wife and gave him the evidence that he required uh if you don't know who the person is the person's name is jenny may i believe yeah jenny may and i've just finished Uh, killing that nightkin that is hunting these brahmins. So that's two of the missions that you can find in town. Find anything? Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. So long. I mean, you know. Ah, oh, damn it! Slowed myself down. What's going on, man? Sure, I know him. What do you want with him? You talking about that chip, man? I don't think he's giving it up. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Yeah, I... Everybody depends on you, you know? But they don't ask you about how you feel, what you worry about. There's something I like about you. You just seem really understanding. I was gonna ask you for a favor, but I'll just tell you what you want to know. The guy you're looking for... Hey! ...some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. Ah, oh, jeez. No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Glad I could help. Hey, I know you've got no reason to help me out now, but you seem really nice. Could I at least tell you about the problem we've got here? See? I was right about you. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Well, they gotta go. Or this'll be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Yeah, see ya. Obviously not in the... Not, like, one after another. I'll wait for a little bit of time, but... I want to do this intelligence build, which is my favourite one. Then the gun one, and then the melee one. Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And... Get moving. Okay, so east. Oh.
Uh... Ooh, recharge. Interesting weapon. Is there anything? No. Where's the stim back? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Easy. I need a laser pistol. We've got plenty of them. We'll take the stealth boys, though. They are going to be rather useful. Actually, I think there's only, like, really one mission that they are... One or two missions that they're actually useful. And, and apparently here we are. All right, Smootskin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. <laughs> God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Your pranks won't work on me, smooth skin. They won't work on Jason either. Good idea. Damn it. Oh well, I need to speak to that Jason. Nope. I think he is upstairs. There you are, sir. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Sure. You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared. And the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realize that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the Great Journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Of course. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Alrighty, so, let's go help these guys go to this far beyond. However, depending on if this is your first playthrough, or one of your many others, 
There is actually a very passive way to deal with this. Hmm. Has this always been able to make sound effects? Like, oh, you can't go in there. Use the basement key. All right, so the way to deal with this peacefully is that I believe I'll save it here just in case I fluff it up. And yes, I said fluff. Being careful of my words. If you turn left. And I think it's this one here. There we go. What's that, Adler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Adler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Adler, I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. I am in command of my faculties, in command of my troops. Antler guides me in all things, as I in turn guide my kin. Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time. Oh, yeah. Remember this one. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then you come along. Antler says you are solution. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Okay, so... I believe that is the room here. Looks like it, from the, uh... The dead body. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone, and a story. 
I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Thanks. Alrighty. So I believe what I need to look at is in the is in the um one of the uh computers. So I'm gonna save it here. Oops. Then I'll crouch. And I do believe it's in Damn it! Didn't even see where that one came from. First aid. Right away. Stim pack. Oh, rebound will generate HP. Disarm. 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 Well, on the plus side, I did save it. <laughs> Alright, so. I want to do this quietly. So, if I get you, sir. Ah, which one is it? Talk to? Uh, need you to wait. And this is why I have all of these stealth boys. I don't really know how long these last for. And I was trying my best not to start crap with him. Uh, no. Uh, load. Okay, so perhaps I'll need to go and do it this way. Uh, let's see if I can change the mission. Quests. Right, that's better. Find the man who tried to... No. Okay, by room. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to try and get him to wait here. Let's see if I'm a bit more successful this time. Item. Stealth boy. Right, so I need to get in and get out. Did you find my friend? I'm not exp I know he's not going to like me being up here.
Okay, so I know that's where that is. Can I make it back before my stealth boy runs out? Okay, so. Oh, the reason why I did that is so you can follow me again. Reinitiate. Right. Antler sings for stealth boys. <laughs> Liar! The envoy said stealth boys here. Antler. <laughs> But invoice notes said stealth boys were... What, Antler? But human could be lying. Oh, and You're <coughs> lucky, date. You're not who I need. You're not who I need. You! Is the way clear? The demons are gone. Praise the creator. And bless you, wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. All right, I'll follow you into your basement. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the... I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the great journey. Our preparations are nearly complete. But the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human, but this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Hey there. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Very well, we don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. But Thought so, gold geckos. Ah, uh, item. 
Have you found the components we dis- Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. I'm gonna see if I can convince him this time that he is a human. But we'll save. Let's see if I can convince him. When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. I thought we were past all that smooth skin, but you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversum won't mind getting irradiated. Haversum won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversum won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversum. You're neurotic. Bald. You call this bald, Smoothskin? I'm a monster. A monster! Oh, God. You're telling me the truth, aren't you? Oh, no. How could they do this to me? For two years? My God, I've been a joke to them. Do you have any idea how easy it'd be for me to sabotage those rockets? That'd be a joke, huh? One hell of a joke. What, you think I'm too stupid to pull it off? I know enough to get their rockets working, don't I? So I can make them fail, too. Like I could forgive myself for getting duped like this? They used me. To be fair, they away. did try to tell you you're not a ghoul. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. I'll get Jason and his flock on their way, and then I'll head for Novak. There we go. I was able to sort him out without any violent repercussions. What appears she is inside. What appears that she is inside somewhere. Hi there. I'm old lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. Ow. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. As it so happens. I know I'm not young and pretty anymore, but I appreciate the thought all the same. Here, take the parts, you flatterer. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe reinforcement project for the combat model iBots. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. 
However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Let's talk to it. Hmm. Maybe I'll get some more information later on. Have you found the components we discussed? Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. Yes, I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. The rockets are ready, Jason. The great journey can begin. Good luck, I guess. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks, and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing, and we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Morning. Morning. Yes. Right, so I'm going to save it here. And hopefully I've turned off all the settings that will prevent it from playing that song. Good. I I have been able to turn off the um the music. Any music that you are currently hearing is from the Twitch soundtrack. There we go. And there we go. That is all three missions, technically four. No, three missions of Novak done. Let's go back to close up. Thank you all for joining me. And I hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your cycle. Goodbye and have a good time. Bye bye.